Hello everyone, my name is Barbara and welcome to my Excel channel. Today we're going to look at exponentiation in Excel or raising one number to the power of another. I'm going to show you two ways to do it. One uses a function and one is a really quick Excel shortcut. So let's get started. So as I said, we're going to look at exponentiation in Excel or raising a number or value to the power of another. We might use this if we want to look at the volume of an object or a room. Say you had a room 10 meters by 10 meters by 10 meters and you wanted to look at the, the volume of it, that would be 10 to the power of three. So the first way is we're going to look at the power function in Excel that is a built in function equal sign and type power, open your brackets. Excel will give you the arguments that are required. So the first one is, let's just take the first example I talked about, let's say number 10 and to the power of three. So that's 10 by 10 by 10, close the brackets and we have a thousand. And of course we could check it by typing 10 by 10 by 10. It's the same. So let's just move this here. And if we drag that down, so we've got 25 squared or to the power of two, 625. Let's check it again. 25 times 25, 625, and then 13 to the power of three, 13 times 13 times 13. Sometimes nice to just do a checksum so you can understand a little bit more of the formula. So that's how to use the power function in Excel. We can also use a quick shortcut or a symbol to do the same thing and it's called the caret symbol. Some people call it caret symbol. So what we can do is we can say equals 10 to the power of three. And again, it gives us the same answer. So this is the caret sign here or symbol and you get that by selecting the shift and the six. You can give that a go yourself. It's entirely up to you which one you use. So you can use the power function or you can use the correct symbol and that is inserted into your formula by using the shift and the six, the number six key on a standard keyboard. So that's how to do exponentiation in Excel. Why don't you give it a go? If you enjoyed the video, I'll leave a link to some other videos up here and here and down below as well. And I'll see you next time for another video. Thanks for watching.